The phrase colour blindness suggests a total inability to see colour. In fact, this is very, very rarely the case. I've been uh, in practice for 18 years and I've never seen a single patient with, with colour blindness. What you do see though sometimes is patients with what we call a colour vision deficiency. This occurs in about 1 in 12 boys and about 1 in 200 girls. In the retina we have cells called cones and there are three different types of cone cells depending on whether they respond to red, green or blue light. In colour vision deficiency we tend to see either the red or the green cones are not working properly. So patients, depending on which cone is affected, will find it difficult to discriminate between shades, certain shades of red and certain shades of green. Now, most colour vision defective patients have very few problems with their day-to-day -day life. It really becomes more consequential whenever they're going for certain careers. There are some careers which will bar you if you have a colour vision deficiency. For example, the armed forces, the police, there are some, uh, being an electrician could be problematical. There isn't really any treatment for colour vision deficiency. It is something I'm afraid that, that normally you're born with. There are some conditions in which colour vision can change as we get older. You see this sometimes in diabetics. You can also see it in early cataracts. So if you're an older person who feels that their colour vision is not as good, maybe in one eye, maybe they feel their colour vision has changed, you should have your eyes examined. If you feel that your child has a problem with their colour vision, take them to your optometrist. They will carry out a test, probably what we call the Ishihara test, where your child will have to identify coloured numbers against a coloured background. If your child has a colour vision defect, they will explain this to you and they can discuss the implications of it.